Okay, this one's gonna be a little fun and quick one. You know, maybe we have lots of different types of scriptable objects, Not maybe not just monster data, but you have, you know, hero data, you have, you know, minions, uh, NPCs, whatever. Like you have lots of different types of uh, scriptable objects, but we're having a hard time seeing which ones are which. Uh, a little fun thing that you can do is you can actually change the icon over here. I don't know if you know about it or, or not, but I just want to show you how you could do that. Over here, I made a little quick thing inside of a sprite. It's just very tiny and doesn't doesn't really matter. But if you zoom in, it looks like a little dragon wing, right? Um, you can make whatever visual you want. You could find one. It doesn't matter. If you take that file and you import it into Unity as, you know, monster data icon, you can change the texture type. I would do, you know, you can do a couple different ones like um, Sprite is probably fine. Editor GUI, like doesn't matter. We could probably do Sprite. We'll see what happens. Do Sprite. The one thing we do want is the filter mode. Like maybe we want to retain that point pixel, you know, look where it's very pixelated. Hit apply. See right there, uh, we can open it up. We have it inside of Unity. Now, the cool thing is if we go over to our monster data, we can't really change this icon up here, but if we go to the class, like the definition right here, this monster data, over at the top, if you see this little script right here, you can click that, and we can assign these things, which we'll talk about later. Um, let's click other because we want our own custom graphic for it. Now that we've imported it correctly, we can see monster data icon. If you don't see this, make sure that you actually went over here and you, you hit apply after you did these. Common mistake. Um, once you do that, you can see we've already created these, so, a lot of the things that we want to, to edit sometimes don't take effect until we either restart the editor or the next time we create one. Uh, and maybe let's actually make a little folder here and call this icons or something. Drag that in there, get that out of the way. Okay, so this is our script. We have the little dragon wing icon, but we want the dragon wing icon next to these two. So let me actually make another folder. Call that data. And we're gonna pull our scriptable objects into there. Now, if we create a new one, you'll see, it creates it with the, the new icon. Since we already created these, it's kind of weird. Uh, one thing we could do is we could just restart the editor. We could also try going to reset, but you'll see it doesn't really work. So let's, let's try just restarting the editor. I'm just gonna pause this real quick and we'll do that. And we're back. And you can see that once we restarted, our icons have updated. We didn't need to redo all of our uh, data, which is nice. Uh, there's probably an easier way to do it, but I don't know. When, when in doubt, just turn it off and on again, right? So yeah, we have our data, we have a little icon. So now when we create new data objects, we could have some for the monsters. We could have a separate icon for the heroes. We could have a separate icon for items. Uh, it's just a nice way to just visualize and clean this stuff up that if you didn't know about, it's just kind of neat. So there you go. Okay, so another thing we can look at, which I started to hint at previously, is icons that are inside of the scene window. So up to now, we've been looking at organizing our assets over here, but maybe we want to add something inside the scene. Maybe we have like a monster spawn point or something. In this case, maybe I want like a uh, projectile shoot point. Like you could have different monsters, but you have like a wizard who shoots spells from the end of a staff. You could have a, a dragon that shoots spells from his mouth, right, breathing fire. You know, we want to be able to position that individually. And it doesn't really make sense to have a point that's floating in space. Like maybe we want to mark that somehow. Uh, so just to show you, if we right click on monster and, um, you know, that's our first one over here. If we were to create a new empty object, call this projectile spawn point. <clears throat> You know, we can position this in 3D space and we think maybe that, you know, that will do something, but we can't really see it, right? Especially if we click off. One thing we could do is we could click up on this uh, game object icon and we can choose anything right here. So maybe we have like, I don't know, orange. All right, so that's kind of neat. We can back up and we can see a little graphical icon and floating in space and that can help us. I think that's the first thing we can do. Uh, we can also give it one of these little labels at the top, right? So maybe something like that. So now we can actually read it, and this is the projectile spawn point. Alternatively, if you want your own custom graphic, we you could make that. Again, I, I made a little thing in a sprite, a uh, really cool program. And if you have this, we could take this and drag it in, just like we did before. We will also 
put whatever graphic you want, put that inside of icons. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll do uh, sprite again. Maybe there's a reason to do editor GUI instead. You know, I, I don't know. doesn't matter yet. Uh, we're not optimizing. Um, come down here. I want point. It'll just look less blurry. I don't think there's anything in there we need. Okay, let's hit apply. So now we have our uh, projectile point down here. If we come back into the scene on this projectile spawn point, we're gonna click again, other, but this time it's on a game object that's in the scene rather than an asset down there. We're going to probably type in projectile. Okay, there we go, we see it. So we have our projectile spawn point and you can see like it's actually floating around the editor, which is kind of nice, right? We can make our own little icons and we can float them around. Right, like you could customize your tools. You could add a little spawn indicator or a skull where the boss is before you spawn something. If you make your own little graphics, you can do some really cool stuff. So, you know, again, I just want to show you how you could customize something in the editor as well as outside of the editor.